All right, good evening, YouTube and Facebook. I'm going to try to do this in one take. Um, so presented is the uh, the foundations of my next album. Um, I have 11 tracks. You can see the first eight. Um, one is kick. Three through seven is the uh, t five toms, very high tom, the very low tom. Uh, number two is going to be the snare. Number eight is going to be the hi-hat. Nine and ten are going to be the uh, two overheads. Um, and then 11 is the scratch track, which you will not hear. Um, so I have the kick and the toms, the five toms, mixed respectively and independently. Uh, what that means is, uh, for instance, I have the uh, the multiple kick mics uh, mixed down onto one track. I have not finished that for the snare, and I have not finished that for the hi-hat nor the cymbals. Um, that's why they're not only here, because that's going to take some time. But I just want to show kind of a, a little bit of uh, what's going on. Um, I will have them maybe in a later video somewhat soonish, maybe not. Uh, for these mixed mics for the respective instruments, for instance, a kick, I have just a little bit of a tape distortion on one of the mics, not on all of them. Um, but other than that, there's no EQing, no reverb, no compression for any of the toms nor kick that you will hear in this video. Uh, this will be the tones that you will hear throughout my next album. I might add just a little bit of ambience. Obviously, there's going to be the EQing, reverb, compression, and whatnot. But this is going to be kind of the basis for the drum tones uh, in regards to the kick and the toms. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of uh, song 6. This song has no lyrics, uh, no song name, so generically I'm just going to call it Song 6 for now. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of the song and describe the changes in evolution throughout. It's an F minor and starts out at 260 beats per minute, 8-8 eight, eight timing. It starts with a ascending, and ascending run for a few bars, descending, then ascending, and ascending with the uh, legato, and uh, as legato, and then... Uh, three string or uh, yeah three string ascending sweep and four string descending sweep kind of mixed in with the legato all right let's try this got 260 degrees per minute f minor so we're ascending 260 12 8 12 8 12 8 6 8 12 8, 10 8, does that again except it keeps ascending. Next, uh, next is a tapping riff with a lot of legato at 310 beats per minute. I'm going to play this riff twice. So it's at 12 8, 12 8, 10 8, 12 8, 10 8, 12 8, 10 8, 12 8. 10, 8, 12, 8. Secondary legato and tapping run at 310 beats per minute as well. This one goes uh, 8 8, 10 8, 8 8, 10 8, 8 8, 10 8, 10 8, 10 8, 12 8. And then now is back to something similar to the intro in 8 8 at uh, 210 beats per minute. But this one has more of a groove drum wise, but more so uh, with the guitars. Play this one twice, of course. And here is a. Let's see. This goes into uh, an acoustic part. 12 8, 12 8, 12 8, 6 8, 12 8, 12 8, 12 8, 12 8, 12 8, 12 8, 12 8, 10 8. At 260 beats per minute. But this acoustic part. Um, it starts off with just acoustic, uh, light drum as you can hear, um, and bass evolves into, uh, with some corded distortion, and the bass groove changes, then it evolves from there, keeps the same timing and tempo, uh, with a center guitar, and it evolves a little bit more with, a kind of a, 
a groovy, uh, simplistic chug eight string guitar, and it evolves into just straight sweeps uh, throughout with all this going on at the ending at the same time. Yeah, so hopefully that gives you the basis. Bye bye.